folks, it's uh, Nick here from Nick's News and Reviews and we're looking at Days of Thunder on the ZX Spectrum 128K. Published by Mindscape International in 1990, also come out on the Commodore 64, the NES and the Amiga version which I've already reviewed. And it was a terrible game on the Amiga because it suck suffered from a lack of speed. Now, this game is extremely dull on the Spectrum, but I let it off slightly because it's had a go at vector graphics. Hmm. Now, it says here on the inlay, Mindscape brings you the true Days of Thunder excitement straight from the incredible Paramount Pictures film. Well, um, we start off in Daytona to qualify. That film, um, Days of Thunder, wasn't really that exciting. If you spoke to someone and they said their list of top exciting films, I doubt Days of Thunder will come in it. But it also says all the fast paced action comes straight to you, if you're looking at it, into your living room on your home computer. Yes. Well, the Amiga version had a, a number of different views which added to it slightly. This has just got this chase view, and again it's very slow, but oddly enough it's quicker than the Amiga. Yes. Have a look at the Amiga version review I did, you won't believe your eyes. Days of Fun of the Film starred Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. Tom Cruise was a young hotshot uh, stock driver called Cole Trickle. G he gets a chance uh, at the uh, top level. Hooray! But it's a terrible film as well. That's just my opinion. So let's have a look at these vector graphics. So we're going around Daytona, quite accurate representation of Daytona, don't you think? And we're qualifying first of all. Now bear in mind this is the 128K version. I wanted to give this game a little bit of a chance. It was also available on the 48k. God knows what it looks like on there. Pits. So you can go down the pits by going down the left hand side, but if you go down it too quick as I did, you can't stop. It's a bit of a delicate ba uh, balancing act. So we're in position one, we get a number of laps here to try and get a good uh, position. It's manual gears. As to Elizabeth, on the bottom right you see the state of my car. It looks all a bit green, which means it's good. See the four tyres and the bodywork. Ah, uh, yeah. You race up to about 21 cars in this, over 14 laps, or thereabouts. And it's a very, very, very dull game. They've attempted vector graphics. I said that before. That's not too bad. But for a good game, does it make? Not really. All the excitement in your living room, folks. I don't think I can take too much more excitement. But hopefully when we get to the race, it'll improve slightly. But it won't. All the cars are the same colour. Overtaking is a little bit tricky. It's just judging what speed to go around the bends. There's a number of different raceways. All of them play very, very similar. So Daytona, two and a half miles long track. Named the world's centre of racing. Oops. And everyone goes past me at the start. It's a 12 lap race. Now part of me hopes that I'll crash and spin off or blow up. Because I don't really want to do 12 laps of this. Anyway. It's single player. Let's see if we can go around these cars. Generally I tend to make up ground on the straight and lose it around the corners. But we're going to have to take go to the pits at some point which I find very tricky to stop. My car's already taking some damage. Uh, we've got a pink wheel there. Don't know what that means. And I'm going way too slow around the corner. Or the bend. Dig the engine sounds. See in the background there some grass and some buildings or something and two clouds. This is better than the Amiga version. I can't tell you how bad the Amiga version was. I mean, graphically the Amiga is better, but it feels like you're going around in a shopping trolley. The speed is like, dunno, slower than an elderly woman walking her dog. This isn't much better, to be honest. I'd rather fall out a window than play this again, I think. Some people might like this. If you're really into the film, which is a bit tricky, you might like it. Cold Trickle was Tom Cruise's character. How do they think of that name? I think he, I haven't seen the film to the end, but I presume he won. Broom, broom. We're in position six here. Lap two. Time's ticking up. Best lap is 51 seconds, it says. I presume that's seconds. It could well be hours. They say don't drink and drive, but I think for this game, 
it'll probably help you. Come on, let's accelerate. Or try to. We're in third gear, we're in fourth gear. Should be able to get past this chap. I hope you're still awake, everyone. Comment below your favourite racing game. And your favourite racing film. And this is the tricky question. Comment below your favourite part of the film, Days of Thunder. Oh dear, oh, oh god, look at that. That was a bit of a relief. Winning isn't everything, but it might be nice. Well, I'm not 100% sure. So his car in the film is yellow and green. Uh, in this game, it's a sort of like lighty blue cyan colour. Shall we have another go? Well, I think we're going to have to, because the review is only about five minutes long. Rick Tears is the top of his leaderboard there. That's, uh, that's his main rival, I think, in the film. Music's nice as we go into Phoenix International Raceway. The corners seem less steep here, so maybe we can get a bit of a speed round and just power through the whole thing. But as you can see, the track looks very similar, if not identical. The scenery outside the track looks identical again, so you could be mistaken for thinking this was Daytona. Deary me. What can I say about this one? I mean, the worst Spectrum game I've reviewed so far was Jack and the Beanstalk. This is better than that. Mine was better, but it's still quite bad. It wouldn't get in my top 50 games, I think, this one. What other Vector game graphics are there on the Spectrum? I don't know if this made it to the Vectrex. I don't think it did. I'm not sure how many copies it sold. Five. That's all it deserved to uh, do. The um, handling... I'll tell you what could have made this game a bit better. If the handling of the car was slightly better. Uh, they had less people to race against, because then that might have sped it up. But the car feels very sluggish and clunky. I haven't got too much control over it around the corners as it slowly drifts. If they eased up on that a bit, instead of trying to create realism, which I presume they was trying to do, it would have been a lot better. Many legends have uh, taken part on this, but not on this game, I don't think. Good old cold trickle. I wonder where he is now. The inlay. I'm just reading this inlay again. Straight from the incredible Paramount Pictures film. Hmm, they must have made two, one that we never heard about. Well, Mindscape International, 1990. So if this game came out looking like this in probably 1983, I would have been a little bit kinder about it. But this is 1990, this is coming up to the end of the Spectrum's run. This is the 128k version. Could they have done better? I'm not sure. It's a brave attempt to recreate... Well, is it a brave attempt? <laughs> Maybe foolhardy. Car looking a bit like a loaf of bread as we go around that corner. And handed in like it as well. Pits ahead. Well, admittedly, I'm not very good at it. I haven't put the practice in because I've got no incentive to. I often go too fast down the pits and and can't halt the car, but we need to pit at some stage here as we're in 10th position. You see the dials? Speed, revs per minute, me, revs per minute, revs per minute, is that or second? I don't know. Uh, and then we've got the gas, which doesn't seem to be moving. Maybe we've got unlimited fuel here. Someone's trying to get me on the inside, and he does. And he disappears off into the distance. Another person tries to get me on the inside. I cut him up. It's a blue car. Pits ahead. Right, here we go. Too fast. <laughs> now, now, if you go down the pits at the right speed, you can uh, repair your bodywork, stop, get new tyres, and then by pressing the letter G, um, you signal to your pit crew that you're off, you're going. But uh, I'm confusing my pit crew at the moment by just steaming through each time without the, uh, without the brakes on. They don't know what's going on. This would be a completely different film, I think, if I was in charge instead of Tom Cruise. I feel the need, the need for speed. Well, you're not going to get much out of this game. Going around this bank corner here, looking very dark. Oops, someone's bashed into the back of me. Do him. Pits ahead. Oh, no. Oh, hello, everyone. They don't know what's going on. Where did they get this driver from, they're saying to themselves. Well, I won't be here next season, or probably any other season, because I'm, I'm ditching, I'm ditching this. The stock cars are going to lose me for a season, or maybe forever. Oh no, that's a relief. I didn't do it on purpose. 
Winning isn't everything, but it might be nice. Well, you're not going to win with this game, I don't think. So I uh, hope you liked having a look at that one. Uh, that was Days of Thunder on the ZX Spectrum by Mindscape in 1990. And until next time, as we look at a black screen, goodbye. Goodbye.